just us three tonight. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we are being heard. No, you guys are being heard. I'm not being heard. Folks, oh. you just missed a classic <laughs> tirade. Uh, nice. <laughs> so, he apparently muted himself, you know. So Wouldn't follow be... us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like this, again, uh, hit up our shop. A, if you want to be on the talk show or the one shot on Saturday, M Hobo Inc., gmail or twitter hit us up uh we will try and get you in here uh let's go ahead and thank our sponsors uh pirate dog dice that make dice that do not suck and roll sometimes kind of high uh they are available to make custom dice for you at pirate dog dice on twitter also if your game stinks or your show stinks unlike ours because ours smells like victory uh grab yourself some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com they've got a variety of scents that will make your in-house play smell memorable good or bad they also do something called the shine system uh the shine system helps you write much more gooder than me uh so take a look at that and coming soon uh how to rpg with your cat kickstarter uh when i find out you will know i've played it had a great time uh finally uh our newest sponsor for murder hobo con Madith productions uh i've Yay. told him that i'd butcher his name uh he understands we that certainly but, did yeah he yeah you know, he said you know just make it mad with a lisp so mad mad uh, and i think if well, I know I know his actual name, but it's not nearly as hard to pronounce. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're looking for some battle maps or some cool shirts as well, uh, along with some <gasps> other accessories, go Damn ahead and hit up Madith Productions. Uh, we've retweeted it. Again, folks, this is the Murder Hobo Con venue. Uh, this is what it's going to look like on August 1st. Before we go ahead and give you the uh, looky-loo, let's go ahead and introduce you to our cast. First up is Carol. Carol, tell us about yourself. Oh, I get to go first. Whatever. Whatever. Well, hi everyone. My name is Carol. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini painter, who has just launched her own mini painting stream on Saturdays at twelve thirty p.m. Mondays at seven. I said eight last time. That was really dumb. Seven p.m. and Wednesdays at eight thirty p.m. Uh, on at muse or muses underscore touch on Twitch. Um, Eastern let's see what else. Time. Eastern time. Eastern time. Yeah, that's true. We, I guess we we're worldwide. So come and visit me. I talk about gaming and not just mini painting. I'll talk about whatever people want to chat about in the chat. And, uh, I'm excited for this. So this is a really cool, cool system. Nice job. Next up, uh, last, but certainly not least, I guess in this case, since there's only three <laughs> of us, David, <laughs> yeah. about yourself. Nice. Uh, hi, I'm David, and um, yeah, you can usually find me here uh, at Murder Hobo on uh, Between the Rolls or uh, our Thursday show, one of them, uh, Cacophony, and then our Calamity Campaigns, Calamity uh, Campaign A and Calamity Campaign B. I play Zadar and Cacophony and Ingve and Crow in the Calamity Campaigns, so... Uh, other than that, I just give dumb commentary here and uh, try to make Frank look, um, yeah, look like but Frank. Smart. <laughs> yeah, he, he fails miserably in that regards. Uh, folks, we had a series of uh, campaign games this week, as you may or may not know. Again, if you're a first-time viewer, thanks. Uh, you got lucky missing my rant. Uh, we started off with <laughs> Cred. So, Carol, why don't you go ahead and give us the brief overview on what happened in Cred. For those oh of you who don't know. That is the Cthulhu horror. Game. Well, sh shoot, and there's no Kyle here tonight to friggin' help me remember what the hell happened in Crit. Do your best. <laughs> uh, I know you watched it, so you can actually help me out. Um, okay. So what the hell happened? Uh, we bait. There's an echo, by the way. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh, I Frank. Frank somehow echoing me back. So, I was muted. 
Sorry. Yeah, you now echoing me back because it was muted. It was fine. Okay. Let me do this. Yeah. So uh, what happened this week was uh, basically we had to go try to save our the, the ship's crew who was all behind in the slammer and who's going to be hung for mutiny. Uh, we went to the HQ and talked to uh, the lieutenant who basically bailed our asses out. And God, what else did we do? <laughs> oh, and basically said, well, you have to find the magistrate because the magistrate's missing. Uh, so that was among one thing. Uh, there was also the uh, the issue with the Wilkemite that we brought. We had to bring to the priest to get paid uh, for the captain on behalf of the captain. Not necessarily for us because we're going to stay on this rock. But the captain wants to get her ship fixed to get the fuck out of here. So we basically had to make sure that we delivered the Wilkemite and they didn't come down and just claim it because otherwise we would lose all the money. Uh, we did do that. She actually, the, the good Captain um, Momoa, not Captain, hey, Lieutenant Momoa actually gave it to us so we could bring it to them. And when we left there, we pretty much, that's where we went. We went up to the volcano, which is where the priests are at. And we, oh God, we we did bring it to them. I'm trying to remember what the hell happened on the volcano. <laughs> I do have notes. I suppose I could actually look at them. But sure. uh, I want to do this quick because we want to get to the venue um shit i do i don't remember all the shit i remember there was keep going i'm sorry i've had a long friggin week sorry yes i thought one of you guys said something so oh i just said keep going <laughs> oh do you remember what the fuck we talked about i remember i remember there you was got paid the ash, you got paid there was the oh there was this there was the sign they had like a little replica volcano Mm -hmm. and it spewed black ash and their belief is that we get a lot of info about their belief and honestly watch the show go back and look at our youtube archives to find out all that info but to uh, if i recall part of it is that oh the the they more or less by giving offerings to this to fet which is the god um basically he produces ash which they can grow things in and such and you know but that's true Ash, you look at look at Hawaii and how well things grow there, um, but with without blowing up the island, I think is what the deal is. Uh, so I remember we got paid. I keep thinking there was something there's something else I know I'm forgetting, but watch it. I can't. I don't I want to, to say that it. summons it up. So well, yeah. But there, well, there was the one thing where I went to the I went to the bar afterwards, and there was a guy there who knew. Anja's name before she told it to him. Oh yeah, there was that. Dun, dun, dun. So, so maybe they'll just have to stay tuned. <laughs> I, I have to stay tuned. I find that rather exciting, actually. Uh, <laughs> finally, there's a twist. There's a twist, and of course, uh, Brand's growing. He's he's got scales, but I believe uh, I believe now he he gets scratched by a raven at one point, and that's actually keeping it at bay. Um, that's interesting. Actually, what is this? Kyle gave us a little clue is that he is basically taking what our characters are, are uh, what our classes give us, and he's putting it in context. So that's actually, so the scales are actually have to do with uh, Bran's choice in, in characters. Oh, I remember Bran. Bran ended up, uh, he ended up back at the, uh, the, the house where he's, he's now the town doctor, and he basically got flooded by patients. And he wouldn't take any payment for it, at least for now. I think he will in the future. But, but basically, that's part of his character's uh, personality and such is the fact that he wants to do good. And he'll actually heal like he'll spend all night healing people without anybody and end up exhausted in the morning. So I think now that pretty much sums it up. But watch the rest. The info dump was great, too. <laughs> Okay, whatever that was. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that, that's that was the ice nice. machine right there. Uh, nice. Folks, uh, all of these episodes are already out on our archive as well as our Podbean account. So if you don't want to look at the money makers, uh, you can just go ahead and listen to it or listen to it on your phone while you drive in from work, dreading every single moment. Uh, those links are provided <laughs> below or just hit us up and let us know. Second one was Calamity. Oh, uh, that rhymes. That 
You know, sometimes I get, sometimes I'm okay. Uh, I had a lot of time to think. Uh, David, <coughs> tell us about Calamity B-Side this, this past Saturday. Calamity B-Side. Oh my gosh. I forgot what we called that episode. But anyway, I'm titling it Grungs. Am I right? <laughs> so I'm telling you folks. You I want am. the bad news? No, I'm going to give them the bad news. No, no. Do you want the bad news on what the title was? What the title was? Edo the Survivor. Oh my God. Okay, That's so that right. brings us to it the topic totally at hand. Totally we'll get is. started right into this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Irony. Oh, it's a bitch. All I gotta say. <laughs> Irony's ironic. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. So our our folks from Toe Town, Crow, uh <laughs> Brother Cup, and Coda. Uh, pick up on the trail uh, from Edu's village. Uh, so we track the grungs uh, through the swamps along the river. Uh, yeah, we run into one encounter. Yeah, pretty victorious in the encounter. Edu proves himself as, you know, one hell of a little fighter. And yeah, everything uh, seems all fine and dandy until... We get back on the road, we're tracking, then we find out that there's two groups that split off and then, then converge and all that crap. But another battle ensued, and yeah, Edo didn't make it. Uh, it took an arrow to the eye. At least it was quick, you know. So, so he wasn't a survivor. No, he was not a survivor. That made he total was supposed lie. to be. <laughs> he was supposed to be. But the dice just rolled Who really shot hot. So. Was it one of you that shot him, or was it one of the enemies that shot him? No. <laughs> it was the enemy. It was okay. the enemy. At least yeah. it wasn't a, uh, he didn't lose on a die on an out one. No, no. Only that one was. person got hit by friendly fire, and that was Brother <laughs> Cup. And I was just like, hurt, don't it? <laughs> you know, because. It's always got to be one. He killed Crow last time, so I almost killed him, so. <laughs> uh anyway yeah yeah so uh some great things happened uh Co we all got stronger leveled up uh coda actually took a level in paladin so yay brother Co coda he's even got his uh own theme song now so yeah you'll just have to watch the episode it's just funny as shit but anyway it culminates with us uh finding uh a village further uh further back that's actually kind of like a stronghold to like a city and uh yeah we end up on the backside of a battle next thing you know we've got big armored anubis like things running at us so <laughs> that was a hell of a battle we almost all, all got killed with that one and uh yeah the gates open and then we get rushed by these warriors coming through and one of the villagers that, that we rescued, good thing she intervened because, yeah, it would have been bad. So you'll see about it then. And, uh, yeah, the thing about us and all that, it's all about aesthetics, folks. You know, even the people that we rescue. So, yeah, charisma scores do matter. So <laughs> we found that out. Yes, they do. Taryn yes. will assure you they No, I'm not matter. talking about that. Just, yeah. Charisma scores Social. matter. Social, social aspects. Anyway. That's what I'm talking about. Taryn was all a social character. So that's the episode, folks. Check it out. It's uh, it's pretty funny. It's the B crew. The B crew are always hilarious. So uh, they are a good group of uh, ne'er do wells. Uh, at least they aren't pretty much. true murder hobos yet. Uh, the final <laughs> yes. campaign episode was the Margu slash tri generational campaign. This is a family uh, grandpa, his sons, his nephew, and uh, his son's sons uh, all play. There are three Franks, four including myself. Uh, these guys have been going for quite a while and they have found themselves in the Halfling Kingdom trying to be entrepreneurial geniuses I'll go with. Uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll call it that. <laughs> we'll call it that. That's their goal. Uh, they have had a lot of problems including unleashing an aberrant zonky cross demon-esque thing 
let loose on the populace uh, <laughs> that ended up killing a bunch of hobgoblins, causing the hobgoblins, who are not friendly at all to the halflings, to come in and seek assistance. Uh, the best part about all this is the party went ahead and accepted the task of helping the hobgoblins, uh, but in their travels, forgot to take their mounts which are still in Triorki, uh, which is going to cause at least one of them a little bit of consternation. Uh, watching the Sunday show is a lot like watching Saturday morning cartoons. If it can <laughs> happen, it will happen. Uh, they are hilarious, they are irreverent, uh, and they can be a bit on the crude side sometimes. But uh, if that's the kind of humor that you enjoy, such as myself, uh, Margu Campaign, I think uh, this coming Sunday is episode 50 of Margu. So we've been doing wow. it. Wow. Yeah, these, uh -huh. guys, these guys are hilarious. Uh, and they do not stink. Uh, <laughs> but just like every other murder hobo, they got their adventure sense from Oddfish Games. Now, uh, their troubles will continue. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind, and most of it will be caused by them, uh, which is always the impressive part of it. Again, all three of these episodes are on the archive, probably still in Twitch, uh, and definitely <laughs> yeah. on Podbean. So, we haven't been kicked off of Twitch be, yet. Twitch, so. it, Twitch, it's two weeks. So. Only, only nudity. Only nudity yeah. will get us booted yeah. there. The neat thing is you basically you have the entire time that's on Twitch to watch before it gets cooked off and our next episodes replace it. So That's true. Uh, and that uh, ends the quick recaps of the three uh, games that we had this week. Uh, this 20 week, minutes! Week. This week, uh, of course, we have Between the Rules. So if you want to be on next week's Between the Rules, hit us up again, Mhobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Thursday is our Cacophony episode. It is closed. Uh, that features David, Carrie, and Caitlin. And then Saturday will be a one-shot. I believe it's a wilderness adventure, possibly fifth level or above. If you are interested in that and you want two hours of just dipshit shenanigans, uh, hit us up again. Uh, and then Sunday, of course, will be Margu. Now, August 1st, this year, most of the day, we have Murder Hobo Con. Uh, it is a charity convention, first and foremost. So once we pay the bills, which are surprisingly light so far, uh, all the rest of the money goes to dun, 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 the American Cancer Society shown here and when you click on things well that one's broken that's on me <laughs> it, it, it wow happened. way to go frank very first it, thing it, out it, of the you know, it's funny because it worked earlier but one of the youtubes did not work uh oh. here's our map we are in the dead center where the gold star is as you can tell this map is kind of big folks we have 12 game rooms looking kind of like a clock we have four different seminar areas and we've got a couple of areas that are going to be used by our musicians currently we have three musical groups and one comedian slated to perform uh one of them might be live the others are going to be on memorex and if you're young enough you don't catch that joke at all you have no idea <laughs> so what you see I here do. is the venue uh, when you first arrive at our venue, uh, tickets or badges are five dollars. Tickets for the games are free, but we ask that you sign up so that we get a good head count. When you come in, this is where you will start. Okay, you'll have the hopefully working American Cancer Society link to their donor page. Uh, you'll have the map board, which there are several located throughout the venue because it is big. Uh, below you, you see a tavern environment. Now, when we broadcast it through OBS, you I don't think you're going to hear the sounds. At least I didn't on mic check. Uh, but there are audio and visual cues throughout the venue. Uh, and that was done because, uh, you know, we want it to feel like a real convention experience. A lot of virtual conventions are just Zoom meetings and whoopee-hoo. Uh, sure, you'll have fun. This one's going to provide you more with a, a kind of old-school feel. 
Now, when you first get in here, if you have a Windows machine, you can hit Control minus, and if you have a Mac machine, you can hit Command minus. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, zoom out and show you exactly what you're looking at. Wow. Uh, you're seeing a lot of visual cues here. You're seeing a lot of signs. If you still want to be a sponsor or a vendor, we still have time to do that. All of our sponsors and vendors, including Walmart, uh, have graciously donated stuff for us, and each one of them have signs. We highly recommend that you click on their sign and at least show patronage to them. It's the nice thing to do. Come on. You don't have to buy anything, but, you know, you can be nice. So we're going to go ahead and take you in a quick, brief, around the horn kind of thing and show you the different areas. Uh, hopefully some of the sound cues will pick up. But again, I don't think it does uh, via OBS. So 12 game rooms, four seminar rooms. I think we're at 18 events right now. And we're slated to run from like 9.30 to 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got people uh, all the way over in New Zealand coming in, uh, Ireland, uh, Maybe some Americans. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's, a few. it's hard to say. Well, we know some of our murder hobos are running. Well, that's true. Uh -huh. TJ's running. Scott's running. Right? Yours, yours truly is running. So Kyle? No, Kyle's not running. I think Kyle's going to play instead. Oh, I thought he was going to run. Okay. He, if, if he is, he is not. Now, folks, event. Uh, opportunities are still open so if you have a game you want to play test or you have a game that you want to sell or you want to have a game that you know just for the hell of it go to tabletop.events uh, find us on page two murder hobo con uh, you can go ahead and pick up your badge there and then you can go ahead and do the event creation again if you just want to attend pick up your badge five bucks anything past bills goes to American Cancer Society and then pick on the games that you want uh we still have some seats available so you're fine now we are going to hold this down to 100 participants uh maybe we reach that maybe we don't but just to let you know it's better to get in early than late so uh me and the folks here are going to go up and we're going to go look at a castle so let's wander up now you can tell as i outdistance them their cameras become lighter and lighter that means they cannot hear me or see me anymore but in the big yes, we screen, can. well, you can now. But uh, I, I can talk over all of them, so I have that ability. <laughs> so initially, if you're having any issues, you can come here. And one of us will be here throughout the con to help moderate problems. So if you have a real ass hat uh, <coughs> bothering you, come up here. Uh, we will go ahead and get a hold of them. We will go ahead and calmly discuss the issue, and then we'll throw them out. That's how life works. <laughs> uh, so this is Con Headquarters. Again, this is also clickable, and this takes you to our swag shop. Now, along with the Murder Hobo gear, uh, as you can see here, and this is the white one, designed by Carol, uh, these things can be on T-shirts, they can be on bags, they can be on throw pillows, they can be on shower curtains, yada, yada, yada. They can be on damn near anything. So if you're looking for Con Swag... There you go. All hey. profits from con uh, swag go to American Cancer Society. Go ahead, Carol. And if you notice, folks, everything is on sale. They have $12, dollar $12 t-shirts right now. Mm -hmm. So it's a great time to help uh, help the American Cancer Society and get yourself a really cool shirt. Yep. And Frank, by the way, Frank, if, if we keep saying I designed it. No, no. I merely took what he, Frank, contributed and I fixed it up a bit. I, I did the schlock job on it. She made it presentable. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> but it was a great, but it was still a good plan. It was still a good idea. So let's go behind know. the castle real quick. <laughs> uh, behind the castle. Yeah, uh, just get over behind it. Uh, to your right, you will see uh, somebody familiar to you if you've been <laughs> watching Cacophony. That is Eunice Monk Slayer. Uh, if you click on her, you get not only the history behind the statue, but the real history as well. We'll save that oh. for the show. Let's go ahead and head that's, straight up. That's the actual mini. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I painted told you, that I, mini. I told you I'd do that. I, everything... I didn't realize. It. I, th I thought you weren't going to because it didn't you know, come out as good on this, but that's not yeah. too bad. It's a little dark, but that's not too bad. Everything uh, these guys have seen before is essentially beta. This is closer to the final 
uh, refined version. Now, right here, uh, Dr. Zero, uh, PT, a.k.a. Copious V Bitters on the Sunday Show, uh, he is one of our sponsors, and he is also sending some uh, door slash giveaway prizes. We have a lot of door prizes, uh, I, a lot. So uh, all you have to do is have a badge. You don't have to be present to win. Uh, the items will be given away at random to random people. So if you aren't here and you're showing up for an 8 o'clock game, but you win a prize at 10, hey, guess what? You win a prize at 10. So, And there's a lot. I'm not shitting you. There's a lot. Uh, <laughs> over to the right, is uh, you'll see a lot of these grade buildings. These are dedicated for vendors. So they will be clickable for certain vendors if they wish and that will take you to a different room or world to where you can discuss uh what they have to offer or just see what they have to offer carol sent me a lot of images from her mini painting uh, is she, this it uh no it's you've got the gypsy wagon right now oh uh, okay and we'll go ahead and take a look at that but uh these buildings will be vendors or they will be closed or they might even be um an escape room. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. So let's uh, keep going up. And I am not hearing the birds, so OBS is not picking up on the birds at all. I don't hear it either. So yeah, it, it's not picking up on the water. It's not. Picking oh up on the yeah. So here is your standard looking room, uh, game room. Like I said, there are twelve around here. Uh, you can click on them and go in whenever, wherever you see the finger. When we give you the finger, uh, you can click on that stuff. So, I hear water. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hearing it. Uh, wow. But trust us, folks, uh, when you are in the uh, area, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear music. You're going to hear birds. You're going to hear wind. You're going to hear a lot of stuff. You aren't going to hear Kyle passing wind because we've already banned him. Let's go over <laughs> to uh, room one. <clears throat> Again, you can see uh, there are no true barriers here, so you can just cut across, and if you shrink your screen enough, you can just go ahead and point, and that way you don't have to hobnob your way through. Again, here is a map of the area. Here is the star, so you know you're here. There's 12. There's one. Over here is seminar area one, which we are going to go head to. This is going to be playing Boots, uh, one of our favorite here, scenarios we'll five for minutes Murder and Hobo. And then we can be on our way. Okay. That works. I'm buying about four to go. Poe has a little alcohol problem. I want whatever the hell the strongest thing they have. So, as you can... Yeah. As you can tell, some areas will automatically mute you. That way you don't have some jerk off talking their way through it while you're trying to listen to either a musical performance video or something like that so if you notice right here if your microphone goes red uh, you just have to get far enough away for it to automatically turn back blue or you can uh, just walk away uh, these little envelopes here with uh, David and Carol if you click on this message envelope over here, you can actually... Ah, now see there, I hear the birds. Yeah, I can hear them too. Okay. So it, it must just be sporadic and, outages. And David's muted, so... It didn't unmute when I walked away. I actually had a... You can click oh, yeah. on your mic mm -hmm. once yeah, you get away from the area, I think. That's what I had to do. But it, it's better It's better for the people who are paying right. attention to the show. So uh, we've got boots there. Who knows what you might find? You might find hot air. You might find murder of the day. <gasps> hard to say. Hot air. Yep. Hot air is the best. No, boots is the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but th those movies will play throughout uh, the entirety of the convention. So, you know, you got about 12 hours. You might be able to catch six shows. Uh, these shows are also available in the archive. Uh, so here you'll just see uh, different types of trees and things of that nature let's uh keep walking down folks uh, as you can see we've peppered the area with the murder hobo symbol uh you've got a nice building here that may or may not be a shop you've got walmart who has graciously given us a pair of 25 dollars gift cards to be given away uh as Mm 
muted us so. all. No. Okay, now we're all good. Um, yeah. I have to Why figure is out. that building muted? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it could be because just off to our fly, five o'clock position is our main music stage. Uh, and I have muted a big portion. And I think that's what it is because just beyond the Walmart sign, two $25 gift cards for door prizes, uh, is a large hewn tree. And that is where Sean, one of our musicians, uh, will be having his repertoire being played. Uh, highly recommend. He cannot do it live. Uh, so he has graciously gone ahead and sent us some MP3s and 4s. And those will play throughout the convention. Uh, let's go... <laughs> You know, okay. we're going to lose you because we're going to go mute, but let's go straight down to the bottom, folks. Got it. Okay, so uh, here you have Seminar 2. Uh, you've got your map over here. You've got the river down to the south. Uh, you saw a Madith production sign, of course, one of our sponsors. Over to the left, uh, Black Wizard, or I'm sorry, Dark Wizard, uh, also one of our sponsors. See, it gives you the finger, so you can click on their website, uh, which is a plus. Uh, let's continue to go left. Other left. <laughs> Other left. Military left. We have the Globe Theater here. Uh, currently, I believe it is playing a rave. Rave? Yeah, a rave. I've got two raves currently uh, to go along with all of our other musical pref press presents. Uh, it, uh, it was originally going to be a spot where a Roman castle building is. I have moved that over to a different area. Uh, let's just continue to cut across. If you go into this Globe Theater, you will be muted for your entire stay in there once you get out. Any, anytime you go into another building and come out, you will appear in the center of the map. Uh, you will not appear just outside. You will move to the center of the map. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, that's why control minus comes in so useful. Let's head to the left. To the left, to the left. But as you heard a moment ago, uh, there are birds, things of that nature. Nice little, nice little audio visual cues. Uh, no, I don't want to go in there yet. Uh, so here... You've seen room six, you've seen room seven, you've seen room eight. Uh, if you cross over uh, the Rio Grande here, uh, somewhere there's wolves. I'm not sure. I think it's higher. Uh, but here is the Roman, how Delineated the Romans built castles. Delineated by the enceinte or interior walls. Now on this it one, was often topped with a walkway around the outer wall live. for defense. I'll probably go ahead and silence that because if you're trying to pay attention here, and I'm just The weakest point of any castle was the main sure gate. Like this was um, remedied with a <laughs> gatehouse and some form of removable or drawbridge, uh, doors uh, and portcullis. It's actually pretty entertaining. Let's head up. Sophisticated gatehouse designs enable a defender to trap an enemy within the gatehouse and attack them with arrow. Again, as you go yeah. ahead and you move outside of the range, uh, you you get silence back. So another map over here clearly showing that, oh, you made it all the way over here and there's still a shitload to look at. Uh, visual cue, uh, pretty statue of lovers. Keep moving. <laughs> Now, somewhere up here on the left, we have something kind of cool. We have a fortune-telling booth to the right, and to the left is where Tyler, our comedian, is going to be performing. If you come by here and you click on the fortune teller, uh, it will go ahead and provide a fortune. It's a little bit slow side. So this is what you get to see. Kind of cool. Just so you don't go in there, right? I can. Yeah, no, you just click on it. So. Oh no, that was really quick for me. Yeah, it it wasn't for me, but uh, it's probably to... OBS slowing me down. So you just click off anywhere, and then you can continue. So if you move over to the state, the brick wall stage, uh, you will see one of our murder hobos, Tyler, going ahead uh, with his bit, uh, and I think he's. 
he, he will play throughout uh, the convention. So in your downtime, when you aren't playing a game or you have a little bit of time to kill and you want to see the sights, make sure you swing by and check him out. Again, there's also two other bands that will be, be playing in different areas. Uh, we just want to keep it light and airy. So let's go up top some more. There's room 11, another map. Uh, this is the rave. This is the other rave, uh, and this one will be playing legitimate rave music. Um, you can dance in, in theory. You can dance. Yeah, yeah. If you click on your person, you can get the heart, the relax, or the dance. So you know, you and your <laughs> friends can just hang out, screw off, whatever. Now, if if you go into an area, uh, particularly areas with campfires. Those are usually quiet zones, so if you just need to take a break, relax, but want to stay in the venue, there you go. Uh, damn OBS is just a pain in my ass, uh, but you can tell what kind of music it's going. So let's go to the right. Uh, I also took the mute off this uh, because this is simply our advertisement. I mean, if you've been around long enough, uh, you know what this is, and it's kind of cool. So we're going to do two more things uh, before I shut my mouth and let David Carroll explain stuff. Uh, let's go into the <laughs> Gypsy Wagon, which is one of the uh, template shops. So it's not the finished product. This is just something that we've shown vendors who are interested in having their own shop. So let's uh, click on the Gypsy Wagon, folks. No, no, no. It always offers you the chance to enter the world or close. So we're going to enter. So uh, these are some of Carol's minis that she has graciously uh, let us use. Uh, she'll probably send more for her own shop. Uh, oh. <laughs> each, each, each shop will have uh, links to shopkeepers, contact points, uh, Kofi, uh, Twitter, whatever. But your standard shop is just a smaller space where a vendor can go ahead and discuss business in case they don't want to just stand out there and deal with the horde and they want to talk privately, they can come in here. Uh, some of these buildings will be password protected. So unless you make contact with the vendor, if they want it to be password protected, uh, you're going to have to wait to talk to them directly. Uh, some shops, like my own, it's just going to be wide open. It's not like you're going to vandalize it because I will hunt you down and kill you. I'm just kidding. Uh, I, but I will have your email address, and I'll put you on every newsletter on the planet. Uh, but, yeah, this is just your general shop. Now, keep in mind, once we walk out, we will be centrally located on the map. So let's head on down and get the hell out. I miss the chimes. Franco. Ah, there he, there is. he is. I'm here. Uh, as you can what tell, were you saying? What were you saying as we left? I miss the chimes. I really like the chimes. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be chimes when you go into the shops. It's, that is really cool. Yeah, it's really strange that OBS kind of picks and chooses what they don't want to play. <laughs> uh, here we go, folks, at our starting point. Again, you see the map. You see the American Cancer Society, blah, 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 blah. The castle's up top. The tavern is to the bottom. Uh, let's go over to the right where the campfire is at. See if it actually can play sound. Oop. Not yet. Might be slow. Uh, but these, there are several of these campsites around, and these oh, are just kind there of, it is. yeah, these are just kind of oh. designated as quiet zones. So, like I said, uh, if you play in a game and you're going to play in one in an hour, but you need to go make lunch or something, you just go here. I mean, nobody's going to bother you. It's not like they're going to take over your uh, 
thing unless you've made your mother's maiden name and social security number your password or your username uh <laughs> but th these are just areas where you can kind of relax now granted uh we've gone through this pretty quickly uh the last thing we'll show you is room three which is one of the game rooms uh they're all pretty much the same. The layout's a little bit different. Some of the decorations are different. Uh, but, but you know what, guys? Let's do that, and then I'll have you guys talk for a while. So let's go in room three. Okay. I think I'm going to have much to talk about. I mean, this is... <clears throat> so... This is your standard game room. It's a smaller venue, but it's large enough that if your party splits up, your DM can send you to a, a various corner, and then when he wants to recall you, he can always just give you a wave. Now, uh, for those of you who are running games, you do not have to use these rooms. If you want to run it off your own Twitter feed, or I'm sorry, your own YouTube feed, or your Discord, or your Roll20, you can let me know, and I will make the link to the door go to that location uh, and we can password protect it if you'd like to keep out the riffraff or me uh, but that is just that is an available option for you all of the things that you see here are just colorful decoration except for the dice so if you're playing and you've forgotten your dice you can click on this and it will automatically bring up a website you can select what kind of dice you want to roll how many times you want to roll it it's just kind of an added little feature that you know help you and your players out because uh, if you forget oh, your i dice, rolled a one <laughs> I'm i got a five i mean this is like on brand Let's I, see. I got a 12 so yeah you know but uh these little banners <laughs> okay. here uh would link you back uh would link players back to your own home page or your Kofi page or your Twitter page, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but everything else is just kind of visually aesthetic. Uh, when you get in these rooms, it's a Zoom meeting. Okay, uh, <laughs> your your DM might have certain aspects, uh, drawings, maps, things of that nature that they can bring out and show to you. But for all intents and purposes, these game rooms are designed to be a small group gathering point. Uh, the seminars on the outside. Not so much. I myself will be doing an Iron DM episode. Uh, we put 20 tickets down, but honestly, if you just roll in there and get close, you'll be able to attend and enjoy it. Um, other than that, uh, it's big, it's different, uh, and it's fun. So uh, you've seen it with three of us. Now imagine it with 50 of us roaming around. Uh, you get to hobnob with people without having to smell them. Uh, you don't even have to wear pants as long as you keep your camera up. So, you know, it's a win-win for you. And most <laughs> of all, it's a win-win to mur murder hobo cancer uh, because once the bills are paid, whoosh, we're writing a check, and that goes to the American Cancer Society. Keeps me out of Dutch with the IRS. Uh, and <laughs> that, that's my big goal there. So... David and Carol, I've gone through it rather quickly. I really thought it wouldn't take that long. It always does when we show off our venue. Uh, what do you it think? Is. What are your thoughts? I, I'm excited about this. I think it's a great venue. I mean, when, they, when you pitched this uh, to me a while ago, uh, I had no idea. I was like, I got the email. I was like, what the, what, what? And then we went in and it all made sense. So you know, uh, yes, definitely. I mean, there's going to be games. There's going to be, you know, entertainment vendors. I mean, I mean, for a virtual con, I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, you know, plus it's a social event. So you're not just stuck with the people that are in, in your game. You can actually go out into the virtual world and socialize. So, or not. So it's, you know. Ignore them, just like real life, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carol, what about you? What do you think? I, I think it's the closest thing to actually being in person when you're not in person. I, I think it's really cool. Uh, a lot of what David said there, but that's that's the biggest thing I, I took. It's the most interactive uh, app out there that I've seen to run a virtual con. And, and most of the, all the virtual cons I've done have been like Discord. 
and it's just it's just not the same I, I love the fact you can you know walk around the world and bump into people and and uh but as for vendors we could definitely use some more vendors so if you're out there yeah let please us know. Hit us up. <laughs> i mean i mean our our prices are really i think are very fair for a first year con without you know first year cons we know we don't have the metrics we don't know how many people are coming we know that so that's why the price point to actually vent here is very cheap and all that money goes to the american cancer society so i mean it's a win-win oh don't right forget there. Yeah. If, if you're a vendor and you sell your stuff, we don't take any well, cut. Well, yeah, yeah that, that's, well, yeah, I mean, but that's kind of, that's standard for pretty much every con. Cons don't, mm. as far as I know, cons, cons always usually charge an upfront charge like we do. It's 25 bucks. A, it's the cheap, there's a $50 spot, uh, which is where you get your own store like the one you showed. Uh, $25 is a signpost. Uh, it's just a signpost right out in the street. It's sign, but you know, we'll you put you blink, you. you're like, yeah. I mean, we're we're Frank is very flexible, uh, and uh, we aren't here to make money, folks. Nah, we we're, we're here to charity murder, game. we want to murder over cancer, and uh, I think it's a charity that's very close to and near and dear to pretty much everyone's hearts. I mean, I, I don't know of anybody who hasn't been affected by it in some way, shape, or form, so. Please, it, it, but we have all sorts of great games. You know, if, if nothing else, come and play the games. Yeah. So our GMs are working very, very hard to prepare these games for you guys. And uh, we'd love to see you. I'm going to wait mine, just so you know. I'm just yeah, he's well, just pulling it all his so. uh, and, and, and as soon as I have time to work on it, um, we're going to have probably a mini painting smackdown in one of the seminars. And uh, well, at least there'll be three of us. I don't know if I can get anybody else, but we'll see. I think I want to go with four people max because you could do a Twitter poll with four people to vote for the winner. Um, we also have Jog from Ireland. He is a cartographer. He is uh, that's right. anxiously putting on... He was just going to do one, but as soon as we showed him the venue, he's like, oh, there is so much I could do. So uh, Jog might be doing uh, a couple of seminars. Uh, he may even be giving away some of his quality work. Uh, so that he it's not posted yet, so you can't sign up for that. But as Carol's pointed out, we got a lot of – we got like 18 events. Uh, so Yeah, and come we're, fill them. We're one day freaking con. So <laughs> but if you want to run an event, by all means, uh, Get us a, up. A, event submission is still open. Uh, but if you want to play, we have a plethora to choose from. Please uh, come and play. We yeah. said we want our GMs to, you know, not prep for nothing. We, we want everybody to run. Except Scott. And, screw Scott. Yeah. Screw Scott. <laughs> no, Scott's an awesome GM. Don't listen to him. He, he's going to do against the Giants in the 5e world. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Scott's. Yeah, that's Scott's gonna be going good. To old school, so yeah, it'll be fun. That's because he is old school. He's more old school than I am, and I'm old school. So I'm just old. We're all old, Carol. We're all actually. Yeah, I the think, old crew here. Come to think of it, Scott is the oldest, isn't he? Out of all of us. Nope. Nope. I got nope. Like two years. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you're the oldest. Yeah. He just he just looks older than me. Yeah. <laughs> He's got that oven and beer that, drinking. That oh, yeah. platinum. He's got that platinum white oh, hair. Yeah. Yeah. But folks, this is uh, this is our venue. Uh, it, it's as close to the final version as you're going to see before August the first. Uh, but again, if you're a vendor, if you're a DM or a GM, or if you want to run a seminar, or if you just want to play games, go over to tabletop events. Uh, go to page two, Murder Hobo Con. Look at the offerings. Go ahead and sign up. The badge is five bucks. After that, whatever. Uh, just don't screw over your DM and sign up for something and don't show up. That's kind of a yeah. Dick move. That's you know don't be not a dick cool. Move. Uh, but you know what? It's five bucks. You spend more at McDonald's for a meal anymore on that. So uh, and anything after uh, cost goes to murder or goes to uh, American Cancer Society. So it's it's, it's a good time. It's a good cause. It's a good opportunity, especially if you're new, uh, you know, yeah. and, and you don't have a, a big budget if you're a vendor. 
we'll work with you. Okay, we'll, we'll get you squared away. Uh, Mattis Productions knows that. Oddfish Games knows that. Pirate Dog Dice knows that. Uh, is is Oddfish vending vending? They are still uh, trying to decide if they're going to have somebody stationed here. I believe somebody will be stationed uh, in the venue at least sporadically. Uh, I, we are nailing down the details on that. Uh, if you go Actually, to Gen Con, you can always go to their booth. They're great people. Actually, um, come to think of it, you could just lose up a store and not be here either. It's all it's all links. Ad Adventures in Philbar will be here. That's mine. Uh, the likelihood of me being in the shop is probably nil. Uh, I will be wandering around known as Hobo Boss or Hobo Frank. Uh, and you know what? Hobo Frank. If you show up, <coughs> feel free to approach any of us. Uh, we're we're yeah. kind of approachable. Kyle bites. So make sure to keep your distance. Yeah. Well, but it's virtual, so he can't really bite you. That's true. It's just a virtual bite. Uh, Caitlin will virtually bite you on the neck because she's about half vampire. Uh, but folks, uh, <laughs> this has been Between the Rolls. Uh, Carol, pitch your uh, podcast one more time for us, please. All right. So I run a mini, mini miniature painting stream. And actually, I'll probably do that here. I'm still trying to figure out times. Um, but where basically I paint minis and tell and give instructions and give and just chit chat about whatever chat wants to talk about. Um, and I am on muses underscore touch muses underscore touch on Twitch. You can just look that up. I think I'm probably the only person that has even has that name that's close to it. Murder Hobos is like a zillion murder hobos out there, but. There's only as one. Is is just, <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. And then my shows, my streams are on Saturdays at 1230 p.m. Eastern, Mondays at at 7 o'clock. I'm going to freaking do it again. I said it was 8 o'clock last night. It's 7 o'clock. And Wednesdays at 830 p.m. That's our own shit, man. I know. Nah. Well, well, it's probably because, okay, I got to remember those three times. And then I can remember... You know, Murder Hobo Wink, which is 8 o'clock. So I think it's all kind of getting jumbled in my brain. Oh, and I'm going to be painting. I'm working on this guy right now. Ooh, this is, there he is. That's, it's the Spirit of the Forest from Reaper Minis. And uh, we're, actually, it's a community paint. Um, one of my friends, he basically, we as a community, uh, we decide, we pick a mini, we vote on it from Reaper Minis, and we all paint it. And there's a bunch of us to do this. So for the month of July, we're all painting that one. Hey, paint it too and submit it on Twitter under Theraval and Friends 2. There you go. There Folks, you go. this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Between the Rolls. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we hope uh, maybe we've swayed you into coming to the con. You should. Okay. August 1st, it's a Sunday, all day long. Tons of games, uh, tons of entertainment. Uh, it's just going to be a good time. There's not going to be a whole lot of stress uh, unless you're in my game uh, because you're going to be urbanites and you're going to get screwed with. Uh, but don't forget, uh, if you want custom dice, at Pirate Dog Dice. If you want uh, to make your game smell better, try Odd Fish Scent or uh, Adventure Scents from OddFishGames.com. They also make the Shine System. Check out Mattis Productions for their battle maps and their cool shirts, uh, among other things. Folks, MurderHoboCon.com yeah. or go to Tabletop.Events. Sign up. It's going to be a good time. Uh, trust us. Uh, would murder hobos lie to you? I don't think so. Oh, not really. Folks, for all of us <laughs> not here, when it comes to murder hobo and cancer. That, There's no doubt. True. We all want to mur murder hobo cancer for sure. And Kyle. We all and want Kyle. murder hobo Kyle. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. It's folks, my jam. That, no. I, yeah. Until I find out the story. Let's kill him. Folks, uh, I'm probably going to screw up my audio again, but that's uh, life. So for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you coming by. Don't forget to check out the website and the convention. And we will see you on Thursday for Cacophony. Big daddy game kissing wave. Mwah. 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 And I am going to transition. And we're all muted. So... Uh, I do love this. This, this, this is a really cool thing. Yeah. Never in a million years would have realized that this didn't exist. Yeah.